The BBC says it's not going to bother making shows for older people as it bungs 40 million quid into making more shows for younger people. Hi, yeah, it's me again. And I found this story in the Telegraph, so let's take a little look at it and we'll have a bit of a chat about it at the end. I'll probably end up having a rant, as always, but we'll save that for the end. Maybe. The BBC will not make programmes aimed specifically at older viewers because their tastes are too varied, the corporation has said. Too varied. Ballroom dancing, antiques, gardening, done. Young people have very varied things, like the 71 genders that we're not allowed to talk about. You don't get more bloody varied than that, do you? They watch all kinds of shit. Old people, ballroom dancing, antiques, gardening, done. Happy old people. And they must be cheap programmes to make. Probably not the ballroom dancing with the amount of money you're paying those bloody celebs. Instead, the over 50s are urged to enjoy shows made for a general audience. The declaration contrasts starkly with the BBC's recent published annual plan, which includes a mission to make more young, appealing British drama and comedy entertainment and events. It is also pouring an extra £40 million into the programming budget for BBC Three, which is about to be resurrected as a terrestrial channel with a schedule specifically aimed at audiences aged 16 to 34. The BBC's policy on over 50s emerged in a letter to a TV licence fee payer who wrote to Tim Davey, the Director General, saying that older people were poorly presented on screen. Mr Davey passed the letter on to the Audience Services Department, which said it was replying on behalf of BBC management. The response said, As you'll appreciate, with an audience of many millions across the whole of the UK, we cannot possibly cater successfully for all individual tastes at all times, and enjoyment is a very personal matter. Very true. Can't please all the people all the time. Yeah, on your side there, that's fine. And enjoyment is a very personal matter also. We find that tastes in older age groups vary just as much as those in any other age range. For example, some older viewers prefer quizzes, soaps and lighter programmes, whilst others prefer more cultural and factual programmes. This being the case, there simply isn't a typical programme or range of shows that would appeal specifically to older audiences, and that's why our television channels and radio stations and the information on our website is for a general audience. We are a general broadcaster, so by definition our approach has to be general and broad, so there needs to be a degree of compromise. OK, degree of compromise. You've taken away BBC Four, which was mostly watched by the older people, Scrap that off, and you're only going to show fucking useless repeats on there. You're not make any new programming for that. But you're bringing back BBC Three, which you binned off because you said no one was watching it, and then you're bringing it back and throwing a shit ton of money at it. So you're not making programs for a general audience. You're making programs for a younger audience. Admit it. You're trying to get people to stop watching Netflix and watch BBC. But the problem is, you're forgetting who your core is. Your core isn't the younger people. Your core. The people that will defend you, BBC, the people that watch you, BBC, the people that care about you, BBC, are the older generation. The younger generation couldn't give two shits. They don't watch BBC News and they don't watch most of your crap because they're on the internet, not on your terrestrial broadcast. The letter emerged a day after Charlie Higson, the writer who co-starred in the Far Show sketch programme in the 1990s, which is a good show, actually. I quite like the far show. It was all right, wasn't it? Accused the corporation of stereotyping older viewers. He told Radio Times, The BBC is forever tying itself in knots about the ageing demographic of its viewers, and some younger executives seem to think that us old people only want to watch gardening programmes, reruns of All Creatures Great and Small, and documentaries about Vera Lynn or Tanks. Ah, uh, I may have accidentally stereotyped older people before. Apologies for that. Yeah, I was only joking, of course. It is stereotypical to say that oldies like gardening antiques and ballroom dancing. They do. They do. The younger generation don't really watch those sort of things. The older people do. But you're more diverse than that, older people. I know that. My mum, for instance, watches Formula One Drive to Survive on Netflix and loves it. Oh, it you can watch anything you want. And the BBC should be catering for all audiences. There shouldn't be an age difference. If you make good shows... All ages will watch them. Netflix is killing it in that respect. Now that Bridgerton show, it wasn't targeted at any specific age group. Maybe a gender, women, I didn't particularly get it. Does that mean anything? I'm not digging a hole again. 
but it wasn't targeted at any specific age group. And because of that, it was watched by millions all around the world and very, very highly rated. BBC, if you make good stuff, who you're targeting it at doesn't matter because if it's good, everyone, everyone will watch it. Stop it. Stop tying yourself around in knots. Stop throwing money at nonsense. Stop having so many bloody meetings. You know, go out and make some good programs that people want to watch and they will watch them and then they'll be happy to pay you because you've made good stuff. Bloody BBC. I, I get off on these little rants tonight. I keep doing it. I've got to stop the little rants. Blood pressure must be through the roof. Anyway, if you like this video or you found it informative or anything like that, I don't know why you'd find it informative, not sure. There's a subscribe button below. Hit that and it will keep you up to date. It's a motorbike going past. Hit that and it will keep you up to date with my latest videos. And uh, down there, there's a like button if you liked it, hit that. If you didn't, there's a button for that. Way down there, there's links for products I think you should have if you want to be TV license free. And I've got mugs and t-shirts. It's all down there. Have a look. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.